Last summer, 40,000 young people descended on a field in southern England for a rave which had a legal license. When I tell you, no, yeah, hold on. When I tell you, I want you all walking through properly. Oh, stop, 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 stop! The night ahead was to be a combination of thudding music, new friends, and a cocktail of illegal drugs. Above all, the amphetamine-based ecstasy. The ravers paid £22 to get in. The ecstasy cost around £30 a tablet. We have obtained rare footage revealing the shocking effects of blatant, widespread drug abuse by rave partygoers. With it, we unfold the disturbing events of a British rave. So do you need to take drugs to have a good time? No, but it helps. It helps. Yeah, just keep you going, just to keep you going. Oh yeah, you could, but it just oh, yeah. doesn't give you the energy still. You haven't got need you know, like for a, a rave like this. What is it? Eleven hours. Yeah, and that's keep you going eleven hours through the night into the morning. You need something to give you the boost. We all take your drugs before you came in. Oh no, drug free. <laughs> Natural. <laughs> Natural highs. <laughs> I catch anyone, anyone taking drugs, doing backhanders. Drinking or doing anything they shouldn't be, they will go on. Don't let me catch any of you, and I mean any of you, doing anything you shouldn't be doing. Because I will slow you. I'm getting a bad reputation, and I'm not going to give you the problem we have is with the VIPs, etc. Really? Because of all the people who, the promoters, etc., they inform the VIPs, yeah, that's the most problem we have people bringing drugs in into all the, the venues that we do. And it's, it's just, I mean, punters and that, they either do the stuff or whatever before they get in. They get caught with it, but VIPs, you can't, we don't really search, we're not allowed. We are now, from this one we are. We're allowed to search. No, we're not searching VIPs, are we? Think just guests. Yeah, okay, everyone's got a bug on that. Yeah, but the VIPs won't be searched, just guests. Uh, so that's what I mean, they bring a lot of it in, you know what I mean, from inside and knock it out. I mean, an ecstasy tablet, which is the main thing, drugs, it's going to be bought. It's about 25, 30 pounds in the market. Any more than four ecstasy tablets, you don't know. This person, she's got seven or eight more. Chances are she's done to sell selling. She's not going to use them. Well. What's, what's happening around this sort of area here? And the back of the toilet. Where Maggie Ryder is. That's where the toilet is. That's where the major dealers are going to be. Edit that. I haven't put spudge in it again. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, it's just all bogs around there. Yeah, nice dude. Well, mate, 
good race, yeah? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. It's, this will take a lot of beating, this will take a lot of beating, yeah, definitely. Last ten. This man's just got to get better, definitely. For another nine hours to go. Lovely, lovely. Nice one, thank you. How long are you going to stay here? What, in this red? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. And then we're going on to another one. Sound time. Yeah, enjoying yourself. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. First class high then, so you're pleased to be there. Yeah. Have you been to many of these before? Only a couple. Yeah. Do them again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Set up ever. This is the yeah. best rave I've yeah. been to the last yeah. two Fantasias and the piss is over him. Really? Oh There's no attitude or nothing here. No. Spot on. <laughs> Even a copper told me to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> up to my officers at that point to intervene and try and deflect people from attending the site. But of course by then you're already dealing with a situation that is developing out of hand.
English weather for you, innit? Know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta take what you get. So how long are you gonna stick around for? All night, innit? All night. See what finishes. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. officials, police and fire officers are to hold an urgent meeting to examine what went wrong at the so-called rave when more than 30,000 partygoers turned up for an event licensed for only 20,000. They'll be investigating complaints that excess tickets were deliberately sold, with 3,000 ticket holders still stuck in the car park when 21,000 had already been admitted. There was also severe traffic congestion. Police say they needed 1,000 officers to control such an event when only 40 were allocated. Basingstoke Council safety officers deny they were hoodwinked by the organisers, who are said to have made three quarters of a million pounds. Police and the local council will be held on Thursday to discuss what went wrong at the party. Forty police were on duty. More had to be called in when party goers used the A303 dual carriageway as a free car park. With regards to extra people turning up, it's very difficult to forecast that another 10,000 people are going to turn up. And when they did, it was dealt with in a professional way and it would appear that 30,000 people seemed to enjoy themselves. The event was laid on by Duncan Cameron Associates, who employed private security men to monitor the partygoers. Four people were arrested. The organisers rent an office in this building in Frimley. No one here was available to talk to us, but a member of staff later promised a meeting at a hotel in Basingstoke, where they said it had all been a great success. We obviously uh, got the mix of DJs and music right, but also I think there were two or three events cancelled over the weekend, so uh, being a bank holiday, they all made for us, and uh, it caused us a few problems with uh, having too many people at the gates, yes, but we didn't exceed our licence capacity inside. So you, you're saying you didn't have more than 20,000 people inside? No, no, no. As far as we know, there was, uh, our licence capacity was, as is, 20,000. If the police estimate is right, and Duncan Cameron Associates did break the licence limit by 10,000 people, it's likely to limit the chances of any similar event being held in the future. For this part of Hampshire, one has to say if a, an event of this size cannot be efficiently held on a site like Popham Airfield, I can't think of anywhere else where it could be. The clearing up operation will take the rest of the week. For the party goers, it was a good night out, there was little trouble, and it's thought to have made hundreds of thousands of pounds for the organisers.